He was just an honest person. You could ask him anything and he'd be honest with you and he'd tell you exactly what he felt, whether you liked it or not. It all started here at Steve Fiddler's restaurant, Daybreak Cafe, where a friendship was formed. And I said, take a picture with me. And the spatula was upside down. And I said, how are you going to act when I showed him the picture? How are you going to act like a cook, Chuck? I said, all your food's going to slide off. So that's why the joke always was, you fired me after one day. Steve says whenever Chuck came in, he would sit in the kitchen while he cooked, just, right just to catch up. I'd sit in the kitchen, just talk, and visit and watch me work. <laughs> An adventurer at heart. Steve talked about that one time. Chuck took him out for a spin. Come on, let's go flying. And we flew over Inglebright. And then when we got over Rex Reservoir, he shut the engine off, but he didn't tell me he was. But Steve says while the adventures were fun, they're not what he'll miss most about Chuck Yeager. It's his sense of humor, his honesty, and his friendship. We had a problem a few years ago with family, and he gave me some of the best advice I've ever had. And to this day, it's made life a lot easier because of his advice. I understood something that only someone else from the outside looking in would be honest enough to tell you the truth. Just a true friend, but obviously American hero as I said, but he was a lot, lot more than that.